bastard, don't you tell me no lie What's up, everybody? I am standing here in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida with my homies from Ask Me If I Care who just played the Rockville pre-party. How do you feel, guys? What? How was the show? I'm fucking white. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> was it packed in there? It was awesome. It was a good crowd. I heard everybody screaming, because we don't give a fuck outside. So you guys <laughs> had the crowd going. That's pretty badass. But yeah, but like the second song, we pretty much owned the room. That was a pretty awesome night. For a bunch of new people, that were, for us not to have our crowd there and the reaction we got, that was badass. I, that's what I'm, I, heard, I didn't know how many people you guys brought with you tonight because for those of you who don't know, Three. these guys actually got into the local Times Union newspaper for bringing their fans on the road with them in this amazing bus that Rockstar Raw likes to call Las Vegas. This is rare for and, um, to see yes, Vegas. This is probably the only time you'll ever see an interview inside like of this bus. Sighting. And thank you guys <laughs> for doing so. Um, and congratulations on the feature. I think it's pretty badass. You guys did come and do a show for us in Pensacola, and you rocked the freaking house, and you brought mad fans with you, and I'm just super stoked to be able to say that I got to see that show because it was well worth it. It was fun. Um, you guys got any new songs coming out? I know you had a new one. You <coughs> was going to be Pussy something. Remember the acronym? Yeah. Um, Pussy is my passion for pimp. Yeah, pimp, pussy is my passion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're working on some new stuff. Uh, we just shot a new video for This Life of Mine. Um, it's going to be, uh, it's on YouTube now. You can check it out. We got, we're shooting a couple more videos. We're shooting one for Slut up in the club. So we got a lot of stuff coming up as far as songs. We're going to start working on a new album uh, also very soon. We just dropped this album, uh, Middle Fingers Up, two months ago. We took it on tour with the, we did a tour, you know, took us all over Florida. Um, we got a lot of great things coming up for the band, you know, we're doing, we're staying busy. We got the gathering up in Ohio. Uh, yeah, they selected us for that. Um, it's a... July 23rd? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a three-day festival. People from all around the world come there. So it was uh, great to be selected for that. Um, Actually got added to the pre-party like today, huh? Yeah, yesterday, basically. Yeah, so you guys took this show at the drop of a hat, which yeah. is a lot about you. And I know you personally, and I know your character, but just to let everybody else know, you guys always take care of your people. You always come out. You always perform. You put your heart and soul on the stage, and you leave it there. Yeah. And if for people like me, it, it gives me chills. I mean, I wanted to actually do this to tell you that I'm actually getting that. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where yet, but that will That's be dope. tattooed on my body, probably my wrist. Thank you so much. Hopefully we really appreciate you. Trip. We're still going to hold Joe down and get his tattoos. So <laughs> I still haven't got it yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you, you got tattoos? What are you scared of? I don't have anywhere to put it. That's, that's what I'm, my problem is, too. I'm like, I don't know where the hell I should put the thing. Yeah. Put it where everybody can see it. I ain't putting nothing on the boobs, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say nothing about that. It's yeah, but I saw your eyes. I'll put something on the boobies. Tell me that's what I was talking about. I'll put something on the boobies. But yes, you guys. Actually, no. I do tattoos on the side, so if you do one on the boobies, I'll do that one for free. I'll do it on my wrist. I'll pay for it. I'll do it for free because you're Lizzie. Yes, Lizzie. You take care of us. I'll take care yeah. of you. Yeah, Lizzie's great. So um, you're talking about these multiple personalities. Which one comes out when you're on stage? Y'all see Jay Lee when I'm on stage. That's my uh, super rock star personality. I'm trying to catch up with Raw because you know he's got the official rock star Raw name. I, I don't, I don't think I'll ever add that because I, I couldn't do that to him. But you know, we gotta keep it up. You know, he he keeps we'll us moving and keeps us reaching further. So I'm trying to always you know up my game. So we do it as a whole. So I got we we do it individually, but we do it as a whole. So that's the way it works. So. You guys have the new videos coming out. Are you guys going to be doing any more touring around Florida? Are you just going to stay local other than the Ohio thing? Or? Oh, no, we're going to stay. Our whole goal this year was, because uh, we've only been a band for about, you know, coming on two years. 
So our goal for the first year. Last month was two years. Okay, yeah. Like, was it? Yeah. March. We should have threw a fucking party. <laughs> Well, you know, they're better late than never. We'll throw one next year. Oh, that was the one. Yeah, we've been a band for that two years. Really we just haven't played, played for two years. You guys years. don't even know yeah. how long you've been together. You've been together we've been a long. band for two years. <laughs> we've been playing out for a year and a half. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's our first show. I thought you guys were at the very beginning because I was yeah. there when you guys were yeah. recording, like, Slash. You were our first yeah. interview, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I actually did your first logo as your model. Yeah, yeah, it's up on the front. Yeah, it's on the way where you come in. I, guys, I love the way you guys did this. And they, for everybody, they did this by hand. I, if you don't believe me, go to Facebook. They have their asses in the air, heads down, beating on shit in the bus. Raw Pictures. cut wood out. I got a piece of wood back there somewhere that's marked that says raw cut this piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> raw cut wood, huh? So, um. There's photos of it too. Yes, there's tell, tell everybody who doesn't know you what can they can expect from your music what they can expect to hear from you on stage. The truth. <laughs> you know, uh, we... That's pretty unsure. Yeah, we play it raw, you know. Um, we try to make the music reflect how we are in life, you know. Um, you know, everyone got a love song. You know, we could do that all day, but, you know, we're we're really making music for people going through things, you know, that's always not always the bright side, you know. So, you know, and I think one of the things that most people want to feel is that someone else is going through it. It's one thing to be the only motherfucker getting picked on. Right. It's a whole nother thing to know that other people are getting the same treatment. Yeah, you know? So, so, right. so and have a good song that's got some ass behind it to rock out to to get that point across. It's, good. it's great. Yeah. There's a bunch of sad, is, slow, pitiful songs about, you know, poor pitiful me, but nah. when, when we relate to people, it's, you know, well, it's everything you want to say. It's everything you want to say, too. It's everything you want to scream. the only one that I know that can outdo me on acronyms because those are always funnier. There's a reason they call me rock stars. Um, and how did you learn to channel your emotions and, and what you know that other people are going through that you went through into those words and into your instruments to put it all together to make it what it is? Like, how did you focus and channel on that? How did it become your passion? You know, when I make up a song, it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. When I'm in a good mood, a bad mood, or I'm at a fucked up day. And I hook my shit up in my room at night, and I jam out a song. And then I think whatever I was feeling comes across when I play it for them. And uh, they just put it together, and it works. And so you, be, you write all the words, you write all the bass, and you write the drums. No guitarist needed. Or it sounds like there's five of you on the stage, and there's only three. Rarely, we very rarely give each other any kind of specific direction to go in. And you know, like some, you know, there's a few songs. Joe, like when he comes in, he's like, "All right, this is a riff, and this is the beat I had in mind." You know, and that's where we kind of start with. But nine times out of ten, you know, he comes. We, you know, we Just he comes like, does his thing, that, I do I'm my thing, my and then shit. he's writing while me and Joe work out some counts. You know, and well, you I like how it comes together because like, we are all opposite people, and it it does work very well with what we do musically. So. That's what I was about to get. I think at, that's the why fact it that works you're all well. so incredibly different, but you work so incredibly well together. And it, it's really cool to see like three totally different human beings when it comes to personality, looks, everything, style, you know, as far as clothing, et cetera, wording. But yet when it comes together, it's like the most fucking awesome thing ever. Yeah, we yeah. definitely don't look yeah. like a group walking down the street. Yeah. <laughs> Not a Beatles no, character. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. humans are also uh -huh. different. Like you guys, is, that's why we dress how we do on stage. Well, yeah. I mean, it goes back to being real, which is something that's very rare in this world. So yeah. it's an awesome thing to know that yeah. there are other real people out there. Yeah, we don't change anything for, you know, anybody. I mean, this is how, how we're, you know, I do whatever the fuck I want, you know. Okay. So, I mean, and that's how I live life, you know. I, I feel like, you know, I don't believe in boundaries or just, you know, I'm supposed to do certain things, you know, and, you know, people see me, they always want to stereotype me into a certain box or something like that, which is, a, I'll be the first one to tell you, you're never going to guess what the fuck I'm thinking or what I'm doing, that's you know, fair, and, fair. and I think, you know, that's what makes this band works is that, you know, we got, we're three independent people, you know, neither one of us de is dependent on the other, you know. You know, we all, you know, walk our own line. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to, you know, get three independent minds, you know, uh, focused on one thing. So you how know. do you do it without conflict? Do you do it 
We let everybody do their own thing. Everybody does their own thing. If only I imagined the conflict, that it would be more comical to me to see that. Because see what we do is we like insulting each other with funny shit. Somehow, I we're all sarcastic. <laughs> we're all sarcastic as fuck, so we really never know when we're really talking about each other. <laughs> that probably helps. You well. know, so I'd be like, damn it, you know, Jay Lee, you're an asshole. He'll probably be like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, no, like, I'm like, I know he's serious, but it's still funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Um, what do you say we get to the magic curse? Okay. All them fucking words again. Oh, <laughs> shit. I didn't do too hot. I did this on camera with these guys the first time ever, and my damn microphone shorted out as soon as I handed it to her off. Oh, no, dude. Oh, I could have shorted out one of you. <laughs> I, I have backup of everything, but it's got to be all put together, and Josh is, Josh Wachlowski is actually trying to put it together for me. Okay, so, cool. I was wondering what Thank happened Thank you, Joshy. That's what happened. The camera. I, it's, it. I got That's why I bought a brand new microphone and everything. I'm like, everything is perfect. I am not having this again. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the magic curse of Evie Star's random topics. Can I pick a good shitty when I bombed last time? <laughs> you, you pick. I tell you what, if Can you we don't like your out? topic, the, of course. <laughs> as long as, never mind. Uh. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, just for you guys, if you don't like the first topic you, you get, you can get a do-over and pick another one. Deal? Okay, who wants I'll take the card. I'm done. I'm done. Right. first. See, that's what I like to hear. He's yeah. so good with this shit. That's why he's the guy that writes all the songs to. He's the word <laughs> man. How did you become so damn good with words, Rob? Man. You are amazing with them. I just keep it simple, I thought. <laughs> Isn't that what KISS stands for? Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh. I thought, did they pick yet? I thought they were picking. No, you pick and talk. <laughs> yeah, you pick and talk. talk. Okay. How long do I got to talk for? At least 30 seconds. At least 30 seconds? What do you got? Lakes. Lakes? Lakes. Yes. We played in Lake City once. Yeah, we did play in Lake City. I That was Lake very City. interesting. Well, Lake City was, was so dope. interesting about Lake City. Lake City was good. Well, the, the bar was in front of the trailer bar. <laughs> It was That's in the middle of funny. nowhere, but it was packed. And when we got off the bus, right. we were all saying, where the fuck are we? <laughs> 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 yeah, the Lexi was crazy. <laughs> but as far as Lakes is concerned. You ever had any funny, fun times in Lakes? Skiing, just skiing? Uh, when I was little, we used to visit this place called Crystal Lake. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's pretty scary. Fucking Jason. <laughs> Dude, don't throw an old movie references. I'm not a horror movie chick, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can do legs. I can't talk about Land of the Lakes or any of that shit. Yes, no, I'm doing it. You can talk about whatever you want. It's your card. If no, you want to make it Land of Lakes. As far as, far as legs, <laughs> I would one day like to have a big piece of property, dredge my own lake. There you go. Be out in the middle of fucking nowhere. We haven't seen anybody. I like that plan. Why don't you just yeah. buy a property with a lake already on it? Because it's more fun to build it. And that's probably more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, trying to get the cheap route. <laughs> we'll see even though it's not so hard. No. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. All right, here we go. I'm going go in the middle. Oh, uh, he's going in the middle. <laughs> what we got here? Tic-tac-toe. <laughs> <laughs> I like tic tac toe because I like three holes in a row. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not right? Yeah, awesome. That is, that is really right. Remember the song Tic Tac Toe? The old there was a song, song for Tic Tac Toe? There's this old school song called Tic Tac Toe by Kuiper. You should listen to it. It might actually inspire you to write something about it. It's actually funny. It's, no. They refer to Tic Tac Toe as the sex part. X is in a row. Oh, I didn't know that. Old school night. Interesting. But yeah, I like tic tac toe. Um, do you like to be the X or the O? Oh, um, I think I'm an X type person. Why is that? What does X mean to you? I like crossing motherfuckers out. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Jailer. Bro, I'll just X them off the list. Like, <laughs> bitch, I don't have a shit list. It's already crossed off. Oh, you got a big old stack of shit in there. It's not shit. It's my magic card. card. Magic, magic card. card. You got a big old stack of magic card. I'm trying to pick one that feels right where I feel the mojo from it. I don't want to pick a second right, one. Right. Sex! 
Dirty mind. 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 Dirty it could not be more perfect. How do you get sex? God. <laughs> I love sex. It is so good. All I heard from her tonight was, uh, what was it? I, said, I'll I can take it, it off if you want to, and we can switch positions. Y'all yeah. should have had the camera on for that. Oh, that was good. Yeah, I like dirty break. sex. I like clean sex. I like rough sex. I like soft sex. Oh, yeah? I like it when I have sex with people. I spread my hair. <laughs> that makes sense. You even like, I, he likes sexual like sex. Have you ever had sex and play drums at the same time? No, but I'm gonna have to try that. Can I just give you an idea? <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Well, I do. I'll be smacking that ass like the drums. <laughs> it is my topic, goddammit. You get out. You already had your 30 seconds. Man, it's about sex. You're supposed to share. <laughs> no way. That is one thing I'm not cool with about sex. <laughs> oh, man. How boring. Jay Lee, I like it missionary happy. only. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, buddy. Too many dicks in this chick. <laughs> oh, God. Bad mental image. Bad mental image. <laughs> I don't like my porn <laughs> with lie. one guy and one girl. <laughs> Come on. You can't tell me. You're Jay Lee. You wouldn't have a threesome with two girls. Come on. Oh, yeah, I would. You sure you could take care of both of them at once? Just checking. I'm skinny. But the part that matters is not. That's why I got a beautiful girlfriend now that puts up with all my shit. Yeah, so I gotta have something here, going folks. for me. <laughs> and with that, we are going to wrap this up so that you guys can chill and get your relaxing groove on and stuff and get all the sweaty clothes from the show and shit, all that stuff. But thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you, thank you. I will see you guys hopefully at Rock If not, we will do a photo shoot Monday evening. Like you guys thing. can pick the location because you know what fits your styles best. We'll meet, I'll meet you wherever. Deal? Sounds like fun. Cool. I am Evie Star. This is will be up on eviestarmusic.com, possibly z13radio.com, and as well as uproductionsllc.com. And I will send it to you personally so that you guys can have it for your pages as well. Here cool? My name. Jesse Lasseter. There you go. I did you remember. <laughs> oh, you're screwed now. I'm not editing it. Because then I won't remember how to find you on Facebook until you make a Jay Lee Ask Me If I Care page. Mm. I'm working on that. You need to do it. Do it. Do it. That's right. You got sex. Do it. That goes into my editing. And we're out, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the interview. Make sure you check out Ask Me If I Care. You can find them on every form of social media. You can find their music online. Go buy that shit. Support their merchandise. Rock it. Just support our boys because you know what? They take care of those who take care of them. I can assure you of that. Peace out, everybody, and good night.